I'm Brad McDonald. I was today I'm gonna give you my testimony and how I found Christ in my life. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona, and shortly after I was born, I moved to Surprise, Arizona. And I've been living in my house for a good 17 years now. And growing up in my home, it, I grew up in a Christian home, but it was part-time Christian. I say part-time Christian because. The only time we would go to church is for holidays, for like Easter, Christmas, and we'd celebrate those holidays, but we were never truly Christian Christian. It wasn't until freshman year, freshman year of high school when I truly got saved by Christ. Going up to high school, I felt I haven't been accepted as a person between friends and family. So I was struggling with being accepted by others. So I would get in these crowds where I felt most acceptant, accepted, but it wasn't the best crowds I should have been in. And then I felt the need of emptiness, so I felt I need to fill that emptiness with a relationship or girls or any sorts of meaning like that. So after a sh relationship for like six months and being being cheated on and disrespected and I just felt even more emptiness and more not accepted in society I just felt alone and afraid and that was until going into sophomore year of high school that summer I got invited to a youth camp by a friend of mine who went to this thing called Young Life so I went there kind of questioningly went there because I wasn't really sure if this was the place for me because I never been big in opening up and sharing stuff and like accepting Christ into my life. I wasn't really like that because I didn't really grow up in a home like that. But it wasn't until I met a really close friend there who really showed me what Christ can do with your life, the impact he could change in one person's life. So after a week spinning with that friend who really helped me lead my Christ, my life up with Christ, by the end of that week, I accepted my accepted Christ in my life and just embrace His holy name in everything I do, no matter what it is, because just His love in my life really impacted who I am today. So going up to senior year, I've been working on growing my walk with Christ more and more every day, every moment, by doing multiple things like help leading in ch church or helping with the youth or just spreading the word of Christ. So I find like with a strong community that really impacts your walk with Christ about the people you impact and the relationships you make is what's going to help you grow your relationship because we are not meant to do this alone we're meant to do this as a community and together so once when you find that community i feel like that will really help skyrocket your relationship with christ so going up to senior year i've been feeling a little bit empty because i've been like separating myself not making the best decisions but then i got um i wasn't making the best decisions i was doing a lot of stupid stuff but then I got rebaptized as a whole new Christian because no matter your wrongdoings or your mistakes in your life you could get reimmersed with God's love so I've been starting out new starting out with his love and joy and I'm finished I'm going into senior year right now and hoping that will be the best and hoping I can grow my relationship with Christ and help other people grow their relationship with Christ and knowing that he is love and he will give you what you need in life and he will fill that emptiness in your heart and in your spiritual walk with Christ. So yeah, that was my story and hopefully it gets better and better the more I grow and the more I expand my walk with Christ. So yeah.